keep an open mind. You never know what you're going to find and what you're going to be interested in. Uh, just be ready for anything and everything. So I recommend that all our transfer students should come and check out the Transfer Lounge at Transfer and Online Connections. It's this really great place to study and to make friends. And honestly, it's just a nice place to uh, be when you're not home. As a new transfer student, I would say talk to your advisor as soon as you can. They help you figure out what classes to take and when you can graduate. And then I also would suggest to get involved as much as you can with um, our program or any other clubs on campus. There's a lot of clubs too. When transferring to a big campus like NAU, I would definitely say just try and keep an open mind and don't be afraid to step out of your boundaries. The piece of advice I would give a transfer student is to get out of your comfort zone. Definitely get involved with anything that interests you, whether it's research, um, getting involved with an internship, intramural sports, there's so much to do on campus. Um, well, so that actually varies from school to school and state to state. And we have specific people to help you with that. We have transfer specialists that will look at your transcript individually and tell you how they'll transfer into NAU. Additionally, we also have a tool online called Jack's Path, which will show you your path to completing your degree at NAU with your transfer credits. If you have any questions about how your credits will transfer over here to NAU, you can definitely make an appointment with one of our transfer specialists, and they'll be happy to help you. To find housing on NAU's campus, I would definitely recommend contacting Housing and Residence Life. Uh, there's also another great resource, uh, Louis List. It has a bunch of on-campus and off-campus housing options. If you're looking right before semester starts, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's filled up, so it's going to be kind of hard to find housing. But if you start looking early, there will be lots of options available and it'll be pretty easy. In Flagstaff, expect to experience all four seasons. In the summertime, it gets pretty hot, but once fall comes around, the weather starts to cool. I would definitely heavily focus on the winter because it sneaks up on people, and that is the season that most people are not prepared for. It literally snows from October to May, so definitely have a ton of you know good winter jackets, long sleeves, pants. And it's very important to have good snow boots, otherwise you'll be slipping and sliding everywhere. I came to NAU from Oregon, so I knew no one when I came here. So I met a lot of my great friends um, through orientation and our transfer on online connections events. So I was an out-of-state transfer student, and uh, with being a part of the mentor program, it gave me just like a day one friend and someone I go talk to about, you know, classes and whatnot. And then through this program, I also met you know a lot of great people that have become like my best friends, even roommates now. So it's really just a great experience. It's really just helped make my time here at NAU just that much more better. Transfer and online connections definitely made me feel like I had a sense of community here at NAU. I felt like I had a home away from home. I made a lot of great friends. Um, they hosted a lot of cool events that I got involved with, and it's just a fun time to be around with other students that transferred here as well that share a similar story to you. Hello, and welcome to Northern Arizona University's Virtual Transfer Visit Day. My name is Jessica Donahue, and I'm the Assistant Director for Transfer and Graduate Recruitment. Today's formal presentation will consist of our admissions team and the admissions processes here at NAU, as well as partners from across campus. Before we begin, we would like to dive into our land acknowledgement statement. Northern Arizona University sits at the base of the San Francisco Peaks, on homeland sacred to Native Americans throughout the region. We honor their past, present, and future generations who have lived here for a millennia and will forever call this place home. To begin, we would like to address the topic on everyone's mind. COVID-19, and how Northern Arizona University is handling the pandemic. First and foremost, the safety of our students, faculty, and staff is our priority. Here on campus, we have made many changes to accommodate the safety of our students. We do have a mass requirement across campus for all students, faculty, and staff, and visitors coming to campus. We have a mitigation testing, which is a randomized testing, each week for students, faculty, and staff. In regards to academics, we have implemented a flexible option for our students. This is called NAU Flex. This gives our students the option to either take courses virtually or in person. As well, we have also made accommodations as in regard to housing and dining to make sure we prioritize the safety of our students. And now I'd like to hand off to my admissions team, Lexi and Joey, so they can dive deeper into the admissions process Flagstaff, and our NAU community. Thank you, Jessica. 
Hi everyone, my name is Lexi Bornstein. I'm a transfer admissions officer. I'm also an NAU alumni, and I'm so excited to tell you a little bit more about why so many people call Northern Arizona University their home. So NAU is located in Flagstaff, Arizona. For those of you that are not familiar with Arizona, you might have heard that it's very hot, very dry, but that's completely different how Flagstaff, Arizona is. We're up at 7,000 feet, we get all four seasons, and we get about 100 inches of snow on average per year, which is pretty exciting. We also never have a day over 100 degrees, and we get about 264 days of sunshine. So when it does snow, the next day everything's pretty melted, and it's another beautiful day here in Flagstaff. We also are the first international dark sky city in the world, and we are also the number one city in the world for stargazing. So we have a beautiful night sky, all of our lights face downward in the city so that it reduces light pollution and everyone can see the night sky. We were also voted number five happiest city in America and the number one best college town in Arizona. So locals, locals tend to call Flagstaff our little mountain town and it has a very special place in our hearts. Flagstaff is located in Northern Arizona like stated. So Northern Arizona, has so much to explore. When I first visited Northern Arizona as a first year student, I had no idea how much there actually was just around us. If you're an outdoorsy person, we have over 50 miles of the urban trail system, which are trails connected all throughout Flagstaff, where you can hike, bike, walk, whatever you'd like, and just explore just around us. We also have options for snowboarding, skiing, and endless hiking. We're three hours from 11 national parks and monuments, including the Grand Canyon, which is an hour and a half away. We have about 40 minutes from Sedona and different creeks. During the springtime, a lot of our students will visit Sedona and call it creek season, and they'll explore the red rocks down there. We're two hours from Phoenix for anyone coming from out of state, and it's very easy to get down to the Phoenix airport, as well as from the Phoenix airport. We have a groom shuttle that can pick you up on campus and drop you off at the airport, and pick you up from the airport and drop you off on campus. If you're not an outdoorsy person, there's still a lot to do. We have movie theaters, local shopping, music venues, a large selection of food and restaurants. And while there is a lot to do in Flagstaff, everything that you need is right on our campus. Our campus is known for being a very tight knit and diverse community. We have about 22,000 students on our Flagstaff Mountain campus and about 33,000 students across all of our campuses. It's a mile and a half long and half a mile wide, our Flagstaff Mountain campus. And we have everything from Chick-fil-A to ATMs, a post office, an on-campus Apple store, Starbucks, a three-story library, a doctor's office, and of course, all of our academic buildings. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about academics. Academics is something that we take very seriously on our campus and we're very, we take a lot of pride in as well. We have an average class size of about 35 students and a student to faculty ratio of 19 to one. This gives you a really great opportunity connect, to connect with both your professors and your peers. There's something for everyone. We have 97 undergraduate degree programs, 60 master's programs, and 15 doctoral programs. And our de degree programs are divided into nine different academic colleges, each with, each with their own unique qualities. The very first academic college that we have is the College of Arts and Letters. A couple of the majors are listed on the screen. This includes music, global languages and cultures, art, theater, cinema studies, history, English, and everything in between. We have a two acre ceramic studio, as well as a 250 seat recital hall available to our College of Arts and Letters students. There's more performances in this college than there are Put, put on in this college than there are days in the year. So if you're not quite wanting to go to a basketball game, but maybe you don't wanna to go to bingo night, you can always go to the College of Arts and Letters to see what's happening there. We do also have a career steps program available for our students to get experience within their field on and off campus. The next college that we have is the College of Education. In 1899, we were founded as a teacher's college and this college is now home to our students looking to get degrees in elementary education, special education, and early childhood education. The average class size is about 17, which is about half as the university as a whole. And students can start getting hands-on experience in the classroom 
in their first two years. There's 125 schools throughout Arizona that offer that hands-on teaching experience for our teachers annually. And NAU is the only institution for higher education in Arizona to attain a national accreditation for our College of Education students. The next college is the College of Engineering, Informatics, and Applied Sciences. This is home to all of our engineers, computer science programs, construction management, and cyber systems. This is an ABET accreditation for our engineers, and it's the highest accreditation that an engineering program can have. And this is what most employers are looking for when an engineer comes out of college. Students start getting hands-on experience with large companies and firms in the area and have access to our innovation labs as early as their freshman year. The next college that we have is the College of the Environment, Forestry, and Natural Sciences. This is home to a majority of our science programs. This includes everything from biology and chemistry to astronomy, mathematics, and forestry. We're the only public university in Arizona to have a forestry program, and we were gifted about 46,000 acres of the forest around us specifically for research. We have a brand new chemistry building that opened in 2015 that doubled the amount of our labs on our campus and our students can gain experience in our on-campus labs, in the classroom, and in close connection with their peers and their professors. Our professors are teaching by day and re researching by night and they're always excited to bring on students for research. The next college that we have is the College of Health and Human Services. This includes our degrees for um, fitness, wellness, nutrition, public health, and our only two competitive programs, nursing and dental hygiene. The reason these are competitive is you will actually um, submit a separate application after you've completed your prerequisite courses, and you're competing against other NAU students for spots in the program. We have a lot of hands-on experience going on within this college. It includes a $1.4 million Iron Chef kitchen for our nutrition students in our hotel and restaurant management department. We have simulation patients for our nursing students that are programmed by our professors. They blink, you can draw fake blood from them, and everything that a real patient would do. We also have access to dental hygiene chairs for our students once they're admitted to the program, and they can work on real-life patients. The next college that we have is the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. This is my favorite college. This is where I got my degree from. And this is what we like to call the People's College. It's one of our largest colleges degree-wise, and it includes everything from psychology and communication to criminology, parks and recreation management, politics, and pretty much everything else. The College of Social and Behavioral Science does have a number of institutes which link the university through service opportunities, events, workshops, and promote global effective research. Some of these institutes include the Civic Service Institute, the Institute for Human Development, and the Family Violence Institute. Students can also participate in research on our campus and work directly with our interactive virtual reality lab, our on-campus newspaper, radio station, and interactive studies. The next college that we have is the W.A. Frankie College of Business. This is home to our management students, accounting students, business students, and School of Hotel and Restaurant Management students. Our Hotel and Restaurant Management program was ranked 14th in the world and 7th in the United States. So we have a lot of students that are coming specifically for this program. The college hosts professional business workshops throughout the year to enhance professionalism, professionalism and business skills for our students. Again, it is home to our $1.4 million Iron Chef kitchen. It has its own coffee shop where students can learn the importance of marketing tools and how to operate a business and even the basics of coffee trading. It is a proud member of the AACSB accreditation, so students will gain this accreditation upon graduation. Next, we are dedicated to providing undergraduate research for our students both on and off campus. NAU ranks 196 out of 900 plus US research institutes and 96th among institutes without a medical school. We have labs on our campus that study everything from the COVID vaccine to CO2 emissions and climate change and even health equity work in our local community. We also have research that has been done all over the world and labs that have been located in the Antarctic, the rainforest, the Colorado Plateau, and there's even been space research done with NASA. We also have opportunities right here on our campus for students that would like to be a part of research as an undergraduate student. 
So no matter what degree you choose or what campus you choose to, to transfer to, we want to make sure that we're helping you succeed in any way that we can. 47% of our students identify as first generation students and we are dedicated to supporting every student through their time here at NAU. We have academic success centers on our campus where you can go in and get walk-in tutoring. You can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring, participate in study sessions. We have a math center where you can get help with math homework. We have a writing lab to get your papers edited. And we do have peer mentoring from our transfer students called Transfer Jacks. So all of our transfer students are partnered with a transfer mentor throughout their process at NAU. All of our tutoring is free for students and it's available for any subject on campus. We do also have career development, which is a great pro program that offers mock interviews, resume help, and they oversee our handshake program. This is where you can upload a resume and see on and off campus jobs. And you, you have access to career fairs on campus. One of our main goals is for you to be successful in the classroom. So now we're going to transition to some advice from our faculty. My favorite class is the Visual Design Lab because it gives the students a better perspective of the workplace. The number one thing that the NAU film program can do for a film student is to provide them hands-on experience right away and they can develop their own personal projects based on their vision. They need encouragement. They need to know that they can do these things, but they also need, I think, a great deal of challenge that they need to be pushed to try things that are hard and to really have to give it their best effort. There are opportunities for students to work with professors, specifically with their research. There are other opportunities for students to work with community members in town. And I think it's, it's a great opportunity for students to get outside of the classroom and really speak and work with the community. Students come to me for career advice and any work experience that they need to have to graduate with better knowledge of the field. I think the mentoring really happens in the classroom. All students are expected to participate, so there's not one voice that's not heard. They might drag their feet initially, but then I think they get excited when they realize their learning ability and their ability to achieve things, and so it's pretty cool. So a really awesome program that we have available for our students that are choosing to come from an Arizona community college is called to Transfer to NAU. These two NAU programs are partnerships that we have with all of our Arizona community colleges, as well as a handful in California. Through to NAU, you'll begin your coursework at the community college, and then when you're ready, you'll transfer to NAU, either at our Flagstaff campus, our online campus, or one of our many statewide locations. Once you complete the program, you'll graduate with two degrees, an associate's degree from your community college and a bachelor's degree from NAU. This program is affordable and it allows your credits to seamlessly transfer to the university. And you also have the opportunity to get an additional scholarship if you're a part of the TUNAU program for two semesters. This is a program that can be um, described by a student service coordinator located at your community college if you'd like more details. Now, NAU wants to make sure that every student feels like they have a place here. Whether you're a veteran, a first-generation college student, an indigenous student, a member of the LGBTQIA community, there is an office, a community, and support available for you on our campus. There's countless offices offering support to our students. Some of our students' favorite offices include the Disability Resources Office, the Office of Indigenous Student Success, the Native American Cultural Center, and our Office of Inclusion LGBTQIA Student Services. Every office is open to all and welcomes all with open arms. One that I would like to highlight is our Veteran and Military Services Office. NAU ranks as the top school for military veterans in Arizona and among the top three of colleges and universities nationally. Veteran and Military Services provides services for both veteran students and their families throughout the entire process at NAU. They can assist in the transition from military service to integrating in the classroom, assist with next steps, as well as the admissions process, scholarships, and benefits. They also have two veteran student success centers on our Flagstaff campus and one available virtually for students taking courses online. These success centers provide a community for our veteran students and their families. 
So since NIU has been open since 1899, we have countless traditions. A couple of my favorite include the running of the freshmen as well as the running of the seniors. So our seniors have the opportunity and our transfer students have the opportunity to participate in running of the seniors their very last year. What this is, is you will actually rush the field, the very last home, home, home game, home football game of the season, and everyone will kind of give you a farewell as you're leaving onto your, your careers. We also have our homecoming carnival. This is almost everybody's favorite tradition at NAU. Every homecoming weekend, the Friday before, our campus will host a big carnival. You'll see that on the screen, there's all kinds of rides, there's face painting, there's a bonfire, there's potato sack slides, everything that you'd think of for a carnival, and it's a great kickoff to homecoming weekend. The next morning, we recommend that you wear your flannel, since we are the lumberjacks, and you go to our north quad to get free flapjacks. It's called flapjacks and flannels. So throughout the entire homecoming weekend, there are all kinds of traditions, as well as throughout the entire year. So those are just a few of my favorite traditions, but if you want to be involved on campus year round, we have over 400 clubs and organizations, and those continue to grow. We have everything from major-based clubs to religious clubs and even hobby-based clubs. We also have fraternity and sorority life with a place for everyone that wants to be a part of it. Some of our clubs include astronomy club, a cappella group, future health professionals of Northern Arizona, the fly fishing club, we have a mental health support squad, the Black Student Union, eSports, and even a Disney club, which is my favorite. If nothing piques your interest, you can actually create your own club with f four other students and a faculty member. We also have a really great program called Sun Entertainment. So if you don't want to commit to being in a club, you can always see what's happening on our campus through Sun Entertainment. They hold all kinds of events, including movie nights every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You can actually go to our Procnet Auditorium, have free access to a movie that just came out of theaters, but it's not quite on DVD yet, and you get free popcorn and free soda. They also host bingo nights, paint like Bob Ross nights, trick or treating, haunted houses, tie dye night, and even dive in movies at our wall aquatic center. And you can sit in an inner tube and watch a water themed movie. They also host concerts. So every fall and spring, they host a concert. The fall concert is normally free. This year it's virtual. And in the spring, they have a discounted price from either 15 to $25. Every year students will get to vote on the genre of the concert for the spring. So every year it's a different genre. We also have the opportunity to study abroad, even for our transfer students. So if you ever thought about exploring the culture outside of no Northern Arizona, you can do so in over 80 countries and 120 cities. You can do studying abroad for a semester, a year, a summer, summer or even a couple weeks. You pay the same amount of tuition at an international university as you would at NAU, and you can utilize your scholarships for this. I wish I would have studied abroad as a student. We also have an interdisciplinary global program for our business and our STEM students. This is where you can actually study abroad for a year. It's a five-year program. You study abroad the very first semester, you'll be taking courses. And the second semester, you will be doing an internship in a different country. You will graduate with a degree in a second language as well as a degree in business or STEM. We also have a national student exchange. So if you're not quite ready to explore outside of the country, you can always explore at a different university within the United States or Canada. So athletics. Another thing that lo people love to get a part, be a part of at NAU is our athletics teams. We have 15 NCAA Division I teams. There's no additional fee to be a part of the sporting events or to have access to them. It's already a part of the fees that you pay. We have a couple teams that are really great to look out for, including our cross country team. They were the national champions for three years in a row. And our women's swim and dive team are a part of the WAC conference. And they have won the WAC conference championship for seven years in a row, and they are on fire. We also have club sports. So if you're not quite wanting to be a part of NCAA sports, you can be a part of our club teams. You pay a fee to be a part of these teams, and you actually can still travel to other universities and colleges and compete with team members from NAU. We also have intramurals. So if you wanted to still play sports but not quite travel, you can pay a fee, bring together other lumberjacks, and compete against each other for sports like indoor soccer and volleyball. Some examples of some club sports as well are Quidditch, which is my favorite if you're a Harry Potter fan. We also have baseball and lacrosse. So let's hear from one of our NAU Lumberjacks, Abby Stomp, on our Division I women's volleyball team. 
I've always wanted to play Division I volleyball, so I tried to work really hard and balance going to school and getting an education, but I also have weights at 6 a.m., practice every day, leave for tournaments. Trying to make sure you get all your work done on the road can be a struggle. I feel like I will look back on my career and be really proud of everything I did, the person I've become, and how much I've grown in different parts of my life. Learning about yourself and learning from other people, that makes it worth it. I will be pursuing my master's in secondary education to teach high school science. My name is Abby Stomp, and I'm a lumberjack. So speaking of campus recreation, students on our Flagstaff Mountain campus have access to our recreation center, our wall aquatic center, as well as our outdoor adventures program. There's no additional fee to, be, to enter our facilities as it's already included in the fees that you pay. Some of our facilities include amenities like an indoor and outdoor track, an, a yoga studio, a three-story rock climbing wall, we have an Olympic-sized swimming and diving well, 12 tennis courts, group fitness courses, one-on-one -on -one personal training, racquetball courts, equipment rentals, and everything in between. If adventure is important to you, we have an amazing program called Outdoor Adventures, where you can be a part of outdoor trips with fellow lumberjacks. You can explore by hiking, river rafting, camping, and exploring Northern Arizona and its beauty. If you don't quite wanna go across campus river rafting though, we have a lot of transportation around campus to get you from class to class and to your residence halls. We have two different bus systems. They're called Jacks and Louie Line. They are our, our personal bus systems and they go in opposite directions of each other. These are free for students and they run every three to five minutes. We also have the Flagstaff Mountain Line bus. This is the Flagstaff City bus that goes through campus. You're welcome to hop on this as it is free to hop on on campus. Once you come on from off campus, it's $1.25. But it goes from to Walmart, Buffalo Wild Wings, off campus apartments, and it goes to downtown Flagstaff if you'd like to explore. We do also have parking permits available for students as well. Personally, I did not bring a car up all four years that I was here and I was totally fine. There's a Target about half a mile from campus and there's an Ulta, a Sprouts, a Michaels, a bookstore, and it's really easy to access. And something to keep in mind is you can't actually drive from class to class. So you'll get a parking permit for one parking lot and that's where you will park your car for the semester or the year, whatever you choose. We do also have a free yellow bike program. So if you are an avid biker or you're not quite ready or sure if you should bring your bike to campus, you can always check out a yellow bike for up to a week at a time. You show your ID, sign your name, and you can get a free bike helmet and free lock with the bike as well. We also have the campus pedestrian walkway. This is my favorite because it's heated in areas. It's a sidewalk all throughout campus that goes from end to end. So you don't have to worry too much about slipping on any ice when you're walking to class. So something that we do take very seriously on our campus is our campus safety. We have multiple measures in place to make sure our students feel safe. We have an internationally accredited on-campus police department who oversees just NAU. They know the ins and outs of all of our buildings. They know where every student is when they're in trouble. And it's a really awesome police department. We also have an NAU safe program. It's an opt out program, meaning that every student does have access to this alert system. So what this is, is if someone is or something is going on on campus, like a power line out, the Wi-Fi is down, or there's a snow day, we'll actually get an alert about this. You can always add additional phone numbers to the NAU SAFE program to have family members or friends get these alerts too. We do also have the blue light phone system. These are phone systems all across campus as well as even on our urban trail system that go directly to our NAU police department. So this blue light system is a big blue light. It's very hard to miss. They're all across campus. And you, if you feel unsafe, you click the button, it goes to dispatch and you say what's going on. If you don't feel safe staying in one area, you can always walk to the next one and they'll meet you on your route. We do also have non-emergency university safety aids. So if you don't quite feel safe walking home alone at night, you can always call our safety aids and they'll walk you home and you can make a new friend while you're at it. We also have all of our halls locked 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So the only way for you to get into your residence halls is with the swipe of your Jax card ID. If you have friends that are in other residence halls, they're always welcome to visit. You just have to physically go downstairs and let them in. That way we know that everyone in the building knows someone there. 
So if you do plan to live on campus, for our transfer students, there are so many options. We do have 25 on-campus residence halls available in a partnership with an American campus community, which is diff our different townhomes and community housing that are considered off campus, but they're in the heart of our campus by a different organization. We have apartment and townho townhome style housing, and we have Louis List, which is a really great resource for transfer students to view both on and off campus housing. This is a really great resource that we'll talk about in just a second that you can just go online, find roommates if you'd like to, and explore both our on campus options, see videos, and our off campus options as well. NAU does rank in the top 1% for on-campus housing capacity, meaning that we have a place for anyone that does want to live on our campus. So no matter what your needs are as a student or if you're an on- or off-campus student, we're making sure that there's a place for you here. Let's listen to a short clip on Louis' list and some details to keep in mind when looking for on- and off-campus housing. First, you chose the university you would call home and have taken the time to explore all of your on-campus housing options. If you've decided it's best for you to live off campus, we've got you covered. So many things to consider. What am I really looking for in a place? Which properties meet my needs? And will my people approve? Don't stress, Louis List has everything you need in one place. We've built a list of properties that like and want university renters. You can search a wide variety of housing types and prices. Check out locations close to campus and see how easy it is to get there. There are filters for all those must-have features you're looking for. Find tips on being a good neighbor and view other resources available to you. There's even a roommate finder in case you need one more person to seal the deal. You're also able to post a listing to find someone to take over your lease if you need to study abroad or you're away for an internship. Log on today to make your search a little easier. So joining me here is Joey Mack and he is an admissions officer. Welcome, Joey. Thank you, Lexi. Yes, my name is Joey Mack, and I am an admissions officer here in the University of Admissions at NAU. And a little background about myself, I am a two-time NAU alumni. I love NAU. I'm, I love working for NAU and helping and supporting students to finding their path here at the university. Thanks, Joey. Yeah. So we're going to talk a little bit more about eating on campus, which is almost everybody's favorite part. So we have two all-you-care-to-eat dining facilities with a buffet style. It has every kind of food you could imagine, including we have a specific section in the dining hall with every dietary restriction accounted for. So the food is carefully prepared to ensure that it's safe for every student. We also have 25 retail locations, including Jamba Juice, Caribou Coffee, Qdoba, Takeout Sushi, a salad place called Turn Up the Greens, and a brand new diner style burger joint with plant-based burgers available. So there is something new that we like to point out as well. These Starship robots, they're my personal favorite. Um, they are little robots that go all across campus and we were the second university in the nation to adopt them. These robots deliver food to students. You can use your meal plan to order food. You pay a $2 delivery fee, no matter if you're in class, at the library, or anywhere. And they will deliver food to you. You open the hatch and they say, have a nice day, and you can go on with your day. Mm -hmm. So no matter if you're living on or off campus, you can have a meal plan as a transfer student, and you have access to all of these really great eating options on campus. Thank you, Lexi, for highlighting the student and academic life experience. I'm gonna now dive into what it takes to become a lumberjack through admission requirements, cost of attendance, scholarships, and financial aid, and then all of the additional resources we provide for our transfer students through our transfer and online connections office. What you may see here is our first year admission requirements. However, these are our admission requirements for all students as we wanna see a mastery of these six subjects, which, which include English, math, lab science, social science, a foreign language, a career and technical education course, or a fine arts course. We also encourage students to submit their test scores, including SAT and ACT. They are not required. However, they can only help you through the admissions process. Coming in as a transfer student, students might be having a variety of different pathways. As in, if you come in with an associate's degree and have a 2.0 or greater cumulative GPA, you would be admissible. Students uh, coming from an Arizona or a California community college 
and have the AJAC or IGETSE, these are general education curriculum programs, and have a 2.5 or greater cumulative GPA, that would make you admissible to NAU. Another great part about having the AJAC and IGETSE is that it does satisfy 35 liberal studies requirements here at NAU. So you're getting a jump start on your liberal study requirements. For all other students, you may have a variety of different uh, university credits from college, and that is okay. And we encourage you to submit your high school and your community college or university transcripts to determine your admission. JaxPath is an excellent tool for students to see their progress to an NAU degree. You can go to nau.edu slash JaxPath, create a profile, and input all the credits that you've completed at, a previous, at all previous institutions, AP credits from high school, and CLEP scores that you've completed on your own. You can then match those credits up to an NAU degree and see your progress to earning your NAU degree. <clears throat> this is an excellent tool. It is not a, a set in stone. It is a guideline, a framework, and it works pretty well to help students on their path to their degree. There are three different tuition rates for students depending on where you reside from. If you're coming from Arizona, your tuition would be just over $10,500 annually. Coming from a Western undergraduate exchange state, your tuition would be just under $16,000 annually. I'll go over the states that, that the WUI tuition rate is under in just a moment. The non-resident tuition, tuition cost is just under uh, $26,000 annually, and that is um, for students from the Midwest to East Coast. There are also additional costs for students based on housing, meal plans, additional course fees, uh, and university fees. This is an estimate, but the, what you can see here is a pretty good estimate to what you may have to pay. The states in the yellow are the Western undergraduate exchange states. Students coming from those states, residing from those states, will, not will pay in-state plus a half tuition coming to about $16,000 annually. You do not need to apply separately for this tuition rate. You are automatically considered for it and awarded it upon um, completing your application and signifying that you reside from one of the yellow states. All the states to the blue on the right are uh, states for non-resident tuition. I encourage all students to complete the free application for federal student aid. It opens on October 1st, and the priority deadline date is February 1st for all transfer and uh, returning students. If you go to fafsa.gov and put in our NAU school code in your application, it will get sent to our Office of Financial Aid and it will, we will award you additional grants, loans, and uh, could, you could qualify for federal work-study programs based on your need. Another great way you could save on your college tuition is through scholarships. We have a variety of different scholarships for our transfer students, and one of them includes our Phi Theta Kappa Scholarship. This is a scholarship for students that have been invited to this Phi Theta Kappa and have joined the Phi Theta Kappa chapter at their community college. To be invited, you need to have a 3.5 cumulative GPA at your local community college and then join. Uh, and then upon joining, if you uh, apply to NAU and you are a member, you would be awarded up to $6,000 annually, depending on where you reside from. We also have the 2NAU scholarship. Lexi highlighted the 2NAU program and its benefits and how it helps students transition to NAU, but there is also a scholarship for students if they are in it for two consecutive semesters at their community college and have a 3.0 cumulative GPA and are transferring 45 units to NAU. We also have need-based aid, uh, need-based awards uh, based off of your FAFSA. So students that complete their FAFSA and submit it at the priority dates will be considered for additional aid up to $4,000 annually. These need-based aid awards cannot be um, stacked with uh, the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society uh, award. So you would choose one or, or there would be one or the other. So I'm gonna jump into the Transfer and Online Connections office. This is an excellent place in our, located in our student union. They're, there's, they're there to support you through your transition to NAU and help you to commencement. A little profile of our transfer students. Most of our transfer students are housed under the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, which is our largest college here at NAU. 
many of which are studying psychology, criminology. We also have a lot of students studying in the sciences, so biology, exercise science, biomedical sciences. And the average age of our students is about 22, or transfer students is 22. One of the best ways you could get connected to campus is through your peer mentor. Your peer mentor, your transfer jack mentor is what we call them. They're there to support you and guide you through your transition here to NAU. Whether that is through social, academic support, or getting you involved in activities, um, they're there to guide you and help you through this, your first year in your transition to NAU. And oftentimes, these are friends that will last a lifetime. Um, there are a bunch of different mentoring programs, but specifically Transfer Jacks is the mentoring program that is supporting our transfer students here at NAU. Our Transfer Jacks program has a lot of different events and activities, and this is all within our Transfer and Online Connections office. Um, these include grocery bingo, uh, pizza nights, game nights, craft nights. Um, so there are a lot of different ways students can get involved and be active and, and making friends and building a community here on campus. I know times right now um, we might not be having in-person events, but there are also a lot of virtual events that they're hosting that are a lot of fun and a great way for students to still be connected in this virtual space. We also take students all around Northern Arizona, like Lexi mentioned, earlier, there are so many wonderful places to explore and see all around Northern Arizona. And that is why we, we like to take our students to those places in community and friendship. So we often will take students to Sedona, the Grand Canyon, the Creek, to the lava tubes, and even here in our hometown in Flagstaff, all around the urban trails, we go hiking, biking. So a lot of great activities and, and trips for our transfer students too. And then for services and support, we want all students to feel supported. And that's why we invite students to stop by our Transfer and Online Connections office in the Union. We have um, free lockers, so if students are commuting to campus, they can bring more to, to NAU and, and uh, store it near our TOC office. We also have our staff in there. So our professional staff are there to help you. A lot of our students and our mentors will meet there and, and have their uh, Transfer Jack peer mentor meetings. So a lot of great services and support. There's a microwave. So if you wanna bring a bag of popcorn and pop it up for a snack middle of the day, you can also come there and do that. So I always encourage students to visit the Transfer and Online Connections office um, as there's tons of support all day long. Many of you may be coming to NAU alone or independently, but one of my favorite parts about coming to NAU and specifically joining our tra Transfer and Online Connections office and joining Transfer Jacks, so you may come alone, but I guarantee you will leave with friends as you are building community and connections all around Northern Arizona University. Thank you so much, Joey, on giving us insight on transfer admissions as well as transfer and online connections and what life is like as a transfer student. We're gonna go into a brief break to learn a little bit more about the Tau Sigma Honor Society and how you can get connected through transfer and online connections. Hello, and welcome back to Transfer Visit Day. Hello, my name is Emily Schlittenhart. I'm the Associate Director in Enrollment and Student Services. We're the one-stop shop for financial aid and scholarships, student accounts, enrollment, admissions, and transfer services. My name is Esther Guer, and I'm the Associate Director of Scholarships in the Office of Scholarships and Financial Aid. Earlier in the presentation, you received information from our admissions group on transfer scholarships available to our transfer students. I will be going into a little bit more depth on those scholarships. NAU tuition scholarships specific for our transfer students include the Jacks and Louis tuition scholarships. Students must file the FAFSA by the priority date, which is February 1st, in order to be considered for these scholarships, as it is a need-based tuition scholarship. They must also be enrolled in 12 units per semester while attending NAU. Students may also receive up to 4,000 per year on this scholarship. The two NAU transfer tuition scholarship eligibility criteria encompasses a 3.0 cumulative transfer GPA, a minimum of 45 transfer hours, and a student may receive up to 2,000 per year in this tuition scholarship. 
Students must also be enrolled in 12 credits while attending NAU per semester. Phi Theta Kappa Tuition Waiver, also known as PTK. Students must be a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, be enrolled in 12 units per semester while attending NAU, have a cumulative transfer GPA of 3.5. Please be aware that the transfer GPA encompasses all transfer credits from your community colleges. Students must also enroll in NAU upon completing their community college. Also, residents can receive up to $4,000 per year. Our non-resident students may receive up to $6,000 per year. Please keep in mind that this particular tuition scholarship may not be combined with the JAX or Louis Transfer Scholarship. The All Arizona Academic Team Waiver eligibility criteria is determined by the student's Arizona Community College. The information is then provided to the Arizona Board of Regents, and which in turn is sent to our office for awarding. Our office will be notified of all eligible recipients. Students must be attending NAU within one year of the award offer. This particular tuition scholarship pays 100% in tuition. In addition to the tuition scholarships I mentioned earlier, students also have opportunities to apply for NAU scholarships. The NAU Foundation Scholarship application opens mid-November and closes mid-January. Criteria for the NAU Foundation Scholarship encompasses ethnicity or gender. Office of Scholarships and Financial Aid Scholarship application opens mid-January and closes March 1st. Our office will send an email to all NAU students when the, when the application becomes available. Departmental scholarships. Students, check with your college on when these scholarships are available. Other opportunities students may research include private scholarships, foundations, and organizations. We encourage students to apply to scholarship applications such as the Arizona Community Foundation, local library resources, local businesses and civic clubs and organizations, parents' places of employment, and our private donor scholarship website. To summarize all the scholarship information I just presented, I also wanted to provide important dates and tips. October 1st is when the free application for financial aid opened. File the FAFSA if you have not done so. Check out nau.edu forward slash OSFA for all financial aid and scholarship information. Frequently check your NAU email and Louis account on a regular basis for any requested documentation our office may be requesting. As a transfer student, we know that a high priority for you is to see how your transfer credit is going to come into NAU. To do that, we have a tool called JaxPath. You can go to JaxPath by going to nau.edu forward slash JaxPath. JaxPath will show you how your classes and test credit that you've taken at a community college will transfer to degree programs here at NAU. You can choose several different degree programs and see how your classes will transfer into them and also your progression towards completion. If you have further questions about the transfer credit process, please feel free to email transferservices at nau.edu. We are here to help you in your transfer journey. If you have already applied to NAU, one of the next steps that we want to make sure you complete is submitting your transcripts to us. NAU needs all of your transcripts to make an admissions decision. If you have been admitted to NAU, please go to nau.edu forward slash next steps to complete all the necessary steps of enrollment. One of the steps I want to highlight is priority enrollment. Priority enrollment, also known as PE, is for all newly accepted students to secure enrollment before meeting with their academic advisor. After you submit a PE profile, your academic advisor will enroll you in your first terms classes. Once you have completed all your next steps, including orientation and priority enrollment, an advisor will be in contact with you to discuss your transfer credit and get you enrolled in your first terms classes. Here is all of our contact information. So on the screen is the direct contact for the Office of Scholarships and Financial Aid, and then also the Student Service Center. Please do not hesitate to reach out to us with any questions that you have. We are now going to go to another break, and here's some information about transfer mentoring.
Welcome back to Transfer Visit Day. My name is Leslie Mitchell, and I'm the coordinator for Transfer and Online Connections. We're going to go ahead and get started with the student panel section of the program today. Hi, um, my name is Sabrina Prophet. I am a senior peer mentor. I transferred from Phoenix College, and I'm a journalism major. Hi, uh, my name is Janine Horio. I'm also a transfer peer mentor. Um, I transferred from the University of Hawaii at Hilo, and I'm a business management major. Great. For today, please send any questions you have to admissions at nau.edu, and we will filter through the questions and try to get to all of them or as many as we can. Our first question today is, why did you choose to come to NAU? Um, so I chose NAU um, because I'm from Phoenix. So it's far enough away that I felt like I could have my own independence, but it's also close enough to home that I can like go and visit my family. And I also thought the campus was just so beautiful with all like the pine trees and the forest and everything like that. Well, like Sabrina, I also fell in love with campus and being from Hawaii, we only really experience rain and not rain. So it was a nice environment change to experience all four seasons. Great. Uh, how do students get involved on campus? Um, I think one of the most important things is being able to try and join a club or at least attend a few of the events from ASNAU, which is the student government, or even through um, us, which is Transfer and Online Connections. Yeah, I would agree. And I think it's also really important to get involved with your major. So depending on what your major is, um, there's a bunch of events um, within the NAU colleges that you can get involved with um, just to really find your place within your major. Great, thank you. Um, so what are classes at NAU like right now due to COVID? Um, classes are definitely different, um, but not in a bad way. Um, so we're doing the NAU Flex thing. So you can either do classes online through BB Learn Collaborate or through Zoom, um, or some classes you can go in person and just social distance and have your mask on. So you can still get the best of both worlds kind of thing. Um, and it's definitely different, but it's been good. It's been, um, NAU is definitely working with students to try to figure out the best way to conduct classes. Great. Uh, what kind of events are happening on campus uh, even now with COVID? Um, even with COVID, a lot of the same events are still happening. It's just a lot of them are through um, Zoom or there's like certain measures that have to be taken in order to get approved for in-person events. Um, like being able to socially distance, have like a certain amount of people that can attend, like sign up sheets and things like that. What have your favorite events been so far this semester? Um, personally, I really like whenever we're doing a game night. We've done a few through Zoom and they've been really fun. We've done online bingo. Um, we've played all different types of online games together, um, like Among Us, the, an app that's super popular. And I think that's been a lot of fun because even though we're at all at home, we can still like have that game night and just like hang out through Zoom. Great. Uh, keep them, the questions coming um, to admissions.nau.edu and we'll keep filtering through them. Uh, next question. Uh, uh, as a transfer, can you live on campus? Uh, yes, you can absolutely live on campus, but that is just a personal preference. Or you can also live on campus on the on-campus apartments, um, like the suites and Skyview. I lived in the suites for my first year here, um, and that was a really good choice. But it is still on campus, and you're still nearby to your classes and that kind of stuff. What was the hardest thing to adjust to transferring from your previous school to NAU? Um, I definitely personally think the size was a big thing. Um, Phoenix College isn't small, but it's a lot smaller than NAU. And um, the campus is really large. And I was living on South Campus for my first year. So navigating the campus was a little difficult for me um, and trying to figure out the bus system. But NAU has like a bus route that you can look at online. Um, and it also has maps, which I definitely took advantage of because it is a large campus and it was a little hard trying to find all my classes at first. I'll have to agree with Sabrina as well. Um, the University of Hawaii at Hilo isn't the biggest college, but it's not as small as a community college per se. But um, in addition to having to adjust to the size of campus and stuff like that, um, I think the curriculum, because every school is different, even though some of it might be sort of similar, but definitely the curriculum was one of the biggest things. 
Great, thank you. Uh, what are winters like in Flagstaff? And any advice for surviving your first Flagstaff winter? Um, so coming from a hometown that's in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, it's a, such a big environment change. So it kind of snows up here in Flagstaff. Um, <laughs> it depends on when exactly we get snow. You just don't really expect it. Um, the wind is probably what makes it the coldest um, that I've personally experienced. But I think just having a winter jacket, a couple layers of clothing, um, maybe some snow boots would be good too. But um, that's what I was able to, I guess, buy my first year here and it got me pretty much through the weather. Yeah, I definitely agree. Snow boots are very important um, because I'm from Phoenix, like I've said before, and I had no idea what winter was before. Like it got to 50 degrees and everybody was like, oh, it's so cold. But here it's actually cold and the wind is insane. Um, and if you don't have snow boots, you might be slipping all around campus. So I would definitely recommend some snow boots because it does snow from a good part of the year. How do you get a job on or off campus? And what is it like trying to balance work and school? Um, yeah, so we have um, this website called Handshake in which you can look for campus jobs, also on campus jobs on there as well. Um, and so that's a really good resource. Um, we also have the career development office on campus that can help you find a job and help you get your resume um, and interview skills ready too. Um, so those are two big resources. And balancing jobs, you just need to have a planner and good time management skills, I would say. Um, I personally have three jobs and school. Um, and so it's just really important to manage your time uh, effectively so you can get all of your homework done and you can get everything you need for your jobs done as well. I definitely agree with Sabrina about the planners and being able to um, manage your time. Um, all throughout my years of college so far, I've had a job. so. I would definitely like to emphasize time management as well as also making sure that you have time to give yourself to relax because that's extremely important, especially with a good majority of things being online right now. Yeah. Should you get a meal plan even if you live off campus? Um, I personally have a meal plan right now. I do live on campus. I live in the suites. I think they're beneficial because it's a way of at least guaranteeing that you have a way to pay for food if you don't want to like microwave something or cook something. But um, I do think that's personal preference. I like having a meal plan though. It's definitely nice to make sure that I have something to eat every day. Um, and I live off campus and I do not have a meal plan currently, but I think it definitely depends on you and if you enjoy cooking or if you also have time to cook, um, especially if you have a lot of classes on campus and it would just be more convenient for you to grab something to eat um, while you're on North or South campus, it might be something you're looking into. But if you prefer to go grocery shopping and cook and make meals yourself, that might be something you'd prefer. What is there to do in Flagstaff? Um, there is so much to do in Flagstaff. Um, just first off, the nature, um, taking advantage of that nature, um, going on hikes, um, going to the Lake Mary, um, all that kind of stuff, especially when the weather is nice. Flagstaff is beautiful. Um, and we also have a really nice downtown area that has a lot of fun shops, a lot of fun restaurants, um, and that kind of stuff for you to go and hang out with friends. Uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of reiterating the whole downtown flag stuff. Even if you don't want to go walk in and buy something or walk in and eat, it's definitely a nice area just to walk around and just kind of go window shopping. But there's also all the stuff on campus as well if you're not looking for something off campus. How easy or hard was it to get involved when you first started classes? Um, when I first started classes, I think it was pretty easy to get involved. It's just my personality. I'm a little more of an introvert, though once I get comfortable, I have the extroverted side of me. But I think it's just risking or taking the chance to get yourself out there and make new friends. Because when you're new, it's not always the easiest. But just I think taking the chance to put yourself out there will benefit you in the end. Yeah, no, I definitely have to agree with that. Um, my first semester, it was definitely difficult for me to like step out of my bubble. Um, I was getting all the emails from Transfer and Online Connections about events that were happening and they all sounded really fun, but I was just kind of nervous to just go because I don't know, you just, 
going alone to something is just kind of nerve wracking because you don't know who you're going to meet or if you're going to meet anybody, but it is definitely worth it. Um, I went to my first event, my first semester, and I was like, oh, wow, this is fun. Like I'm meeting new people um, that I get to hang out with later. And it just definitely is worth it to step out of your bubble, even just once to try it out. Yeah, to kind of add on to that a little bit, um, I think take the chance because I personally, my first semester, did not attend a single event through transferring online connections and I've regretted it ever since. Here's a follow up uh, on the dining question. Um, what are uh, dining dollars or what about a commuter meal plan? Um, so dining dollars are kind of more or so like a credit or debit card that you can use. Um, you can use them at just about any other facility that isn't necessarily a dining hall on campus. Um, they're tax free and you can, um, it comes kind of like in a plan sort of with um, if you get an actual meal plan or you can add it onto your JAX card, which is your student ID online. All right, uh, how big uh, are the classes? Um, so that definitely depends on your major, but um, for my major, um, which is journalism, they're definitely small enough that I feel like I know pretty much everybody in my classes. Um, I feel like as I've gone through classes, I've had about the same 15 to 20 people in my classes, which is really nice because it helps build that community. Uh, yeah, and with being a, bus uh, a business major, more of like the introductory sort of classes to business, like the general business classes that you have to take, they're typically larger, anywhere between 60 to 120 people. But I, as the higher level that you go, like 300 and above level courses, they definitely get smaller. Uh, here's a question we're getting. Do you recommend bringing a car to campus? And if you don't have a car, how do you get around Flagstaff and campus? Um, so I personally do not have a car and I do live on campus, but um, we have an on-campus bus route as well as um, the bus system called the Mountain Line, Route 10 specifically, I believe, that um, will get you on and off campus. So like Walmart, a few other off-campus um, apartments, um, even into downtown Flagstaff. And um, that is free if you have your student ID, just need to make sure that you show proof that you have it. Um, but I do have a friend that lets me use her car from time to time when I do need to go somewhere off campus, but I don't think it's necessary to have a car. Yeah, it definitely is also going to depend on where you want to live. Um, if you're living off campus, um, there are a lot of apartment complexes that are like walking distance from campus, but um, there are some that are a little farther. So um, that'll definitely depend. Um, and also, if you are on campus, you are walking distance from Target for groceries. Um, you can take the free bus to Walmart. Um, and then we have a bunch of places where you can eat on campus. So it might not be worth it. Great. All right. Here's another question. Were you ever homesick your first year? Um, I definitely was, but I'm very lucky in which that my family lives in Phoenix, which is only about an hour and a half away. Um, so I could visit my family or they could come visit me, but it definitely, you do get homesick. Um, and that is a totally normal feeling to feel. <laughs> um, and it is definitely okay to feel. Yeah, um, it's definitely okay to be homesick. Um, I am currently homesick right now with COVID and everything. I haven't been able to go home in over a year. Um, but I do fortunately have family in Phoenix and Scottsdale, which is a couple hours away from here, which isn't too bad. But I do miss like my siblings, my parents, my close family that I have at home. And it's definitely normal to feel that. Right. Um, how will your, my classes transfer? Um, that will depend on your credits and how they match the curriculum at NAU. Um, talking to like an academic advisor or the admissions office, they can help show you how that will transfer. Um, there's also Jack's Path that I have personally used and that to a degree will show you how your classes will transfer. But again, it all really depends on how the curriculum matches with NAUs. Yeah, definitely reach out to your academic advisor right away and get your transcripts in as soon as you can. Um, because once those transcripts get in, your advisor can show you what did transfer, what didn't, um, and how your schedule will look because of that. Another question, uh, how do you make sure you can get the classes that you need? Um, that definitely comes with enrolling early and as soon as you can. Um, so at NAU, we have multiple term enrollment, um, which means that you can enroll in multiple semesters at a time. 
Um, so definitely get in touch with your advisor. As soon as you know, you'll be coming to NAU and they will tell you your date so that way you can get in the classes you need. Um, yeah, I would like to emphasize the fact about talking to your academic advisor, um, especially for myself. Um, halfway through spring 2020, I did switch my major. So it was really helpful to talk, talk to an academic advisor with the classes that I still need to take and the classes that I had to take this semester. Um, but you can also look on the NAU website and that'll show you classes that you can take or that you need to take, but academic advisor is usually the most helpful. Last question. What do you wish you had known before coming to NAU? Um, I definitely wish that I knew um, a little bit more about the mentoring program. I knew nothing about it at all until my mentor my first semester reached out to me. Um, I would not recommend ignoring them because they're pretty much your go-to resource as um, you can just simply text them and they can answer a question or you can meet with them and talk about a lot of things. Yeah, um, and along with that, just like getting involved as much as you can, um, especially as a transfer student, we're not here as long as um, nor ugh as other students are um, who are coming here their freshman year and are here for the full four years. Um, some of us are only here for two years or three or maybe even one. So definitely use that time wisely and get involved with as much as you can. Go to events, um, talk to your professors about events happening in your major um, and that kind of stuff and really maximize on your time. Thank you. Thank you very much, panelists. We are headed into our next break um, and we'll learn a little bit more about National Transfer Week. Welcome back. Again, my name is Jessica Donahue. I'm the Assistant Director for Transfer and Graduate Recruitment here at Northern Arizona University. Again, we would like to thank you for joining us here today for our virtual transfer visit day. Of course, always please ensure to follow us on all of our social medias. This includes Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course our new NAU social TikTok account. And as well, I would also like to plug our NAU Go app. Moving forward, we would encourage all of you to visit us virtually at nau.edu slash virtual. Here you can sign up for information sessions, take a virtual walking tour of campus, and signed up for individual meetings with our admissions team. Please reach out to us at admissions at nau.edu. Again, thank you for joining us today and go Jacks. <laughs>